and welcome to Today 6 Live at 530. I'm Rachel Garceau. For generations now, Southwest Idaho families have made the famed trek up to Lizard Butte for a sunrise Easter service, and today was no exception. As our Eric Fink reports, it's a service steeped in history and tradition that gets stronger with age. 625 Easter Sunday morning. The moon still illuminates the night sky, and dozens soon to become hundreds file up this mountain taking a seat on this terrain, cozying up with a blanket, getting a glimpse of the sunrise. The setting here on this mountain with the uh, Lizard Butte that has such a historic connotation with the Oregon Trail makes it special. On a beautiful day like this with the warmer temperatures, it's a perfect day to celebrate. For more than 70 Sundays, this, or something like it, is the scene at Lizard Butte, home to a famed Easter sunrise service. This Sunday marks Connie Hills, 40th. Connie and several others make up the board of individuals who prep this festive morning on the mountain. We start planning six weeks ahead. Our kids have grown up doing this every year. They know the week before Easter is our preparation week and they've just been troopers over the years. Now in its eighth decade, this historic sunrise service also attracts some first timers. It's been on my list of things to do for a lot of years. This tradition isn't only recognized here in the Gem State, but in fact, all throughout the country. On this Easter Sunday, this 76th Lizard Butte service is the oldest continuous Easter service in the Northwest. While the service shows no signs of fading away into the darkness, board members admit they can't take the hills as easy as decades before. We're not getting younger, we're getting older, and this hill's getting steeper. You always have to turn the reins over to the next generation. But Connie Hill isn't ready to turn over the reins or give up her seat at the piano just yet. In Marcine, Eric Fink, today's six on your side. And Easter is, of course.